What's up everybody, Angry Poncho here. Welcome back, we're playing Kirby. It's been a minute since I did an episode. I think like a month. <laughs> this is why I'm holding them and putting them all out at, at once now. Alright, let me remember the controls here. Nothing! Whoa. Alright, sword boy, come here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat ya! Oh shit, I spat him out. I did it wrong. I'm sorry. Alright. Oh no, 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 not you again! Fuck! Everything's fine. Now let's just poof. No, my water. That's awful, man. So what have? Oh, I keep doing it. I keep doing it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's so scary. Huh. Look at this mushroom man. Here you. I'm gonna. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Delicious. Parasol. I love how it folds inside out. Anyway, whoa, whoa, holy shit. I was trying to say that it had been a minute since we did an episode, and so I should tell y'all what I've been up to. I guess I'll start from the beginning. Uh, so, well, I'll start from whatever, just start. So, I bought a 3D printer, anybody who's seen the stream knows. And, whoops, I'm trying to suck him up, not land on top of him. Spark! I think I need... Do I need the hammer to get down here? I guess I have to... Hmm. Okay, okay. That's weird. So I got a 3D printer. And... It worked pretty well for a while after I got it. Ooh, the lag is real. And then, all of a sudden, the print bed wouldn't heat up. And essentially what that means is there's the surface that you print the files onto, where the objects whoa will appear and it's supposed to be warm on this printer to uh oh hey whoa leave me alone i'm trying to think of the word i actually want to say volcano tornado that's it all right watch out for this asshole look <laughs> at going back and forth he's like i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you it's so exciting well, this is weird i think i can't suck up these guys right can i Wait, wait, can I t kill this guy? Yeah, okay. So, oh, I'm dead. Apparently I got bounced backwards into the obstacle there. Wish I had the sword. Oh, is that thing gonna keep going around? Son of a gun. Whoa. Missed me. I do find it funny that this guy just goes back and forth like that. Alright, let's see if I can get him to move over here. So I can be like this. Yeah. Mushroom! Or er, tomato! Wait, wait, what? Yeah, shit! Wait, how did, where'd the tomato go? Oh, God damn it, I'm fucking this up so bad. So basically, the print bed wouldn't heat, which essentially amounts to the print not sticking well, and if the printer doesn't really work very well after that. So I needed to get it fixed. And looking it up online, it was. I don't know how to dodge those bomb guys. It was within the warranty. So I could go and get it, send it in to get it prepared. God damn it. No, my sword! Alright, well, we beat the level. Let's see how the timing is on this. Huh! Oh, that's not very good. So it turns out the reason that it fails is really common, and it fails on like every printer. And you, it's a design problem. So you can get it sent in and get it fixed, but all they'll do is send you back another just as broken printer like the, the design flaw doesn't get f damn it i was stuck the design flaw doesn't get fixed by them doing the repair they just send you another poorly designed heating bed so i'm thinking how do i oh i thought i was gonna walk right through that little bar for some reason it looked like a rope water delicious oh well and then i get hit again perfect doesn't even matter. Have you guys heard that mashup? Well, it's not really a mashup, but have you heard the uh, song that is the... Uh, I believe it's the... It works either way. It's the either the vocals or... I can't go until I fight this guy. Alright, sure. It's either the vocals or the music of Numb... Or no, In the End by Linkin Park. God damn it. And it's mashed up with the vocals or music, so like it's either the vocals of one and the music of the other. 
uh, mashed up with All Star <laughs> by uh, Smash Mouth. And it works surprisingly well. Like, you can take the lyrics from one song and the melody from another, and it totally works as, like, an actual single song. They're weirdly interchangeable, and don't ask me why, because I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know enough music theory to tell you. Oh, can I knock over here? Okay, that rope seemed to be going off the screen, which led me to believe I could go over there. Anyway, so I had the option to send this printer in and get it fixed. Why do I want to go out here? Uh, but they're just going to send me back another one that doesn't work, or will, or another one that will work for a couple months and then break. And it's like, eventually this warranty is going to end, so maybe I should just try and fix it permanently myself. So that's what I did. So I looked up some stuff online on how to fix it, and it turns out that if you know how to solder, it's actually a relatively... No, my hammer! Oh, the stars move so much faster. Oh, and that was weird. I think I may have loaded in some textures from the right side of the screen and overridden it. Is that a door? It's just a hole in the sail. <laughs> Weird. It just came out of the mask there. That was strange. Whoa! Flying... I guess he's a Goomba? That was weird. I thought we could just use Waddledees in Kirby games. So basically, if you, if you know how to solder, it's a relatively easy fix. Because the reason it breaks uh, is because there's some wires underneath the print bed. And the print bed moves back and... Whoop, okay, here we go. The print bed moves back and forth repeatedly and rapidly. And the end result is that this wire that's improperly routed gets bent backwards and forwards over and over and over again. And as a result, it eventually breaks. There's a lot of these weird O Fortuna guys dropping from the sky over here, and I don't like it. Oh, that's like something from... Uh, I want to be the guy. Jeez. Push A! Oh, two. Better than last time. So the wire gets bent back and forth repeatedly until it breaks. And here's a picture of what that looks like. And this is the part where I wrote down that I said that. So that I know to go in there and put the photo in for you guys to see here. Basically, what happens is... I mean, like it looks like. It got bent back and forth at that spot over and over. Is it going to do it again? Huh! Oh. Damn it, I wasn't trying to fly up, I was trying to go back to the side. I wish there was a different button for initiating the, the little flight animation, but I guess they had already used up all the buttons on the NES, so... Nope, I thought I could walk through that for some reason. Can I get out here? What does this look like? I feel like I should have a rollerball power up whenever I see a slope like that. Can I keep going down? No. I had to just... Oh! Ah! 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 Shit! Shit! <laughs> I had to figure out how to swim for a second there. It's like, what am I doing? What the hell was I? I keep getting really sidetracked in this story. So the printer gets gets bent... The wire gets bent back and forth repeatedly there. And the end result is that the, the wire breaks. So... I have never soldered before, and so I had to learn how. That's the, that's the short version, in case I get so lost I don't finish the damn story. Oh, that's a cannon. I don't care about the water. I'm fine. Uh, oh, what up? Oh, how do I get over? Oh, wait. Can I drop down through here? Hmm. How do they want you to get that block out of there? Eh, whatever. Game overs are practically free, so there's really no reason to spend a lot of time going for one-ups. The cutter! Oh wait, I think I'd rather have the sword. I... Thank you. I wonder if this would let me... Cut a bomb that's one block below the surface. I'm not actually sure. Keep going right? Probably keep going right. It is a Nintendo game. Whoa! Watch out for the spikes. But I'd never soldered before, so I watched some videos online on how to solder. And I watched some videos on how other people had done the repair on the printer, and I endeavored to do it myself. Oh! Damn! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come here, you. Go. Get that bottle of water. Get the hang of it again. So, uh, here's a picture of what the inside of the printer looks like. Just a big old nest of wires. And basically, uh, I had to re-solder on the wires where they contacted the base plate. And here's a picture of my soldering job. 
if anybody knows what a solder joint is supposed to look like, uh, leave me a comment and tell me how I did. Uh, either it worked, it, I mean, it was good enough for that the printer works again, so god damn it. Give me that star! Give me that star! Oh, I want my sword. Kirby feels brave when he has a sword. Let's go up! Shit. Oh, fucking hell. I hate when you're trying to suck up the ability and you accidentally... Whoa! You have a power? Why did I... Hey, here's the beam. Okay. It worked well enough that the printer works now, which is nice. And it was a nice little accomplishment for me because I had a few... Oh, damn it! I tried to be cool and slide underneath that. And this is not in the background. It's a fucking wall right here. God damn it. Ah, oh, shit. These fucking coconuts are kicking my ass. Huh. There it is. Coconuts. Whoa. God, God damn it. They fucking explode. What's up with that? Are you gonna hit the little... Uh, God damn it, they go through the branches? What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Fucking coconuts, man! Let's make a run for it. Oh, shit, there's coconuts everywhere. Pew. Whoa, I just ate a coconut and a bird. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. And you can suck in a bunch of things at once. I did not know that. I guess it makes sense, though. Huh! Going to that door really quick. Oh, uh, ah, uh, just a two. Anyway, it was an accomplishment for me because when I turned 26, I made a list of goals that I wanted to do before I turned 27. And one of the things was learning how to solder. Another one was doing 3D printing. So that's a two down. And a third, wait until he finishes. Oh, I did not actually wait. I just said I would and then went. So good job, Poncho. Ice. They did so much with such a limited color palette in this game. Oh, I see. Whoa, okay, that's how this works. Alright, cool. No, no, it doesn't matter. I'm dead. Game over. It's a very happy game over screen. Boink! Wake up, Kirby! You have unlimited continues! It's not an arcade game. You know, so he's gotta run back over to the level entrance. Whoop. Weirdly, I think a lot of these early... Wait. Did I... Hang on. Are we on level 4 or 5? We're on 5. <laughs> Let's not replay level 4 if, for no apparent reason. Yeah, so the third thing I wanted to do was learn how to pick locks. So I'm going to be working on that one next. So apparently the ice power and the freeze power are different things. I kind of like the freeze one better, because it seems to go up and down a little. Oh! Pew! That's neat. Flying up, getting hit by dudes. Flying up, flying up. Curve is going up. Alright. Where are you? Pew! Pew! Can't go to the right. I have to keep going up. Nope, the screen is stopping me. Where am I supposed to go? Just Kirby in a clear blue sky. Where am I supposed to be going? The Kirby in free fall here. What the hell? What what am I missing? Is there like a door? Wait, what? Is there a tunnel? I am so confused. Can't go to the right. Can't go farther up. Oh, there's a door right there! Holy shit, it just blends in with the background! Something about the checker pattern on this wall... I just thought that was background. Oh, that's so strange. It slipped right into my brain. Fuck you. Now that I know how evil you are. Huh! And... Can I go, can I go left here? Why would they put a little alcove there if you can't go left? That's so strange. Ooh, and everybody's getting blown up. How are they moving around down there with all those blocks behind them? Again, another apparent path that isn't actually a path. Can I squirt this guy from underneath? Hehehehe. <laughs> come here. Come here, look, I'm gonna squirt ya! I'm gonna squirt ya! No, that doesn't work. I'm gonna have to use my laser beams. Or, or just a big puff of air. Kirby's a weird guy. It's a weird- Whoa! Alright, come here, fireball. You're mine! 
get a little burp going. <laughs> now we're cooking with Kirby. <laughs> oh, that would be an interesting uh, TV show. Huh. Do I need to... Hmm. I don't know where these little pads are going, but I don't much care. I have fire breathing Kirby, so I'm just going to proceed forward. Yeah, so it's pretty nice to uh, accomplish goals and stuff, even if it's just little things like now I know how to solder and I have all the tools required to make minor repairs. So if a, a lamp or something were to break, like if somebody, uh, I don't know, like cut the cord, cut the power cord of my lamp, I could totally fix that now. I know how. Aha! Gotcha. There's a penguin in space up here. I love the little the pink aurora borealis that's going on up here. It's neat how they gave that depth by adding those wavy cut lines through it that show the, the path of the illusion. It's just pretty. Whoa. Oh, I want... Ah, damn. I wanted to eat him, but it's okay. Now we're doing a space theme. Alright, come here, you. Can I spit this out? Eat you. And become a spaceship Kirby. Pew pew! See? Isn't this cool? We're flying around! Look at this shit! It's fucking. Oh. Fucking great. No, uh, no. The other one! Fucking asshole. Get out of here. Give me another UFO. Give me another UFO game! Oh, a... I kind of want that tomato. What is it gonna take to get it, is the question. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> it's a refill, so I just take a hit. Whatever. What is this going to be? A branching path? Oh, did I choose correctly? I don't have a health bar for these guys. That's a little weird. Oh, oh one down. Can I eat you through your friend? Aha! And now freeze power! Freeze power! Get fucked! I'm proceeding on with the level. It's interesting that Kirby just uses his uh, squirty mouth move when you're underwater. Even when you have... Uh, a, like, I guess if he used his ice powers, he would just create a big block of ice around him? Is that how it would work? Uh, hashtag Kirby questions. Shit, I forgot you have to puff out the air before you can actually use the power. It's weird that that's how the controls are, but... I guess with the number of buttons they had, they did the best they could. Oh, alright. Meta Knight and his minions. Just the minions, really. Poof. Weirdly, the combat arenas aren't too bad. I'm gonna try and toss this guy at the other dude that throws forks. Aha! The fork throwing dudes are assholes. Oh, got me. You asshole. Whoa! Apparently, they don't die in one hit from a puff of air. He's, whoop! God damn, I tried to duck under it, but his, his aim was dead fucking on. Delicious. Yeah, you see that? You're fucking nothing! Is that the boss for World 6? Is that how this works? Where are all these cloned Kirby's coming out of to just to hold these signs, man? Got me fucked up. Oh no, here we go. It's a D D D D D D D stage. Get it! Got it! Oh my god, it's Meta Knight! Holy shit, we're actually fighting the real dude. Okay, how do you... Whoa! Whoa! Okay, he's got a sword. Right, you know what? I'm gonna sit up here. Oh wait, it's on an actual platform. How are you up there, dude? This doesn't make any sense. Whoa. Did I hear it in there, or...? I can't tell. Oh yeah, I am doing damage. Okay. The whole screen flutters like... That's weird. You know, because if the whole screen shakes when you hit him, that's, that's, like, that's the animation that should happen when you get hit, you know? Got it! Fucking caught it out of the air. Sure be looking cool as hell. Good start. What are the odds this strategy works? 
I have a better health bar than you. That's this oh, he's doing, doing different, different moves now. Whoa, whoa, oh, okay, oh shit. The, I have more health than you strategy is not going to be a winning one, it seems. Oh! Now, see, that's not fair. Why does touching him kill me? Shouldn't he have to be swinging his sword at least? I do like how he starts the fight all cloaked and shit. He's like, I'm gonna get you, Kirby. I'm coming after you. We just have to get in for. Let's learn his pattern here. It seems like he kind of just runs around and then. When you hit him, he counterattacks pretty regularly. I don't really want to be up in the air. Maybe I'll just jump. Because the floating way that Kirby moves around when you're actually fluttering is really slow. So it might be best to just stay on the ground where you're more mobile. Weirdly, you're more mobile on the ground than in the air. Honestly, the best way to do this fight is probably to go into it with a fucking gun. <laughs> Use one of the laser weapons that you can be far away and just pew pew and stay away from him. Literally bring a- OH! Shit! I tried to go to the side, but for some reason I only went down. Oh god damn, I'm getting fucked up. SHIT! SHIT, Meta Knight! Can I- I wonder if you could stun lock him in the corner. Oh, okay. Oh, he's, he's immune to air puffs! My air puffs have no effect! I'm giving her all she's got, Captain! Yep, don't touch the Meta Knight. I've learned that. I'm just gonna bash into this, like, uh, a guy running into a brick wall until I figure out what works. That's the inevitable conclusion of Unlimited Continues. So I think I'm gonna be a little bit... a little bit squirrely. Be a little bit squirrely. Can you get me up here, Meta Knight? Guess what, asshole? I can fly! <laughs> He's like, come down here, you pink fuck! Come and get me. Oh, I wish I had that power to turn into a fucking brick. I'd be coming down on your ass like Kevin McAllister came down on the Wet Bandits. Boom! A 20 year old reference! But it's actually timely because it's, it's almost Christmas. He's, he's just down there like, God damn it! Come down here and fight me! <laughs> Look! Fucking assholes. He's like rumbling back and forth like, I swear to God, Kirby. Oh, oh you thought you were going to be able to get me, didn't you? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Shit. I like the symmetrical nature of the- Whoa! Father- Father Mucker, he said. So I get to take five hits, six, and I'm dead. So, oh god damn, he's so fucking fast! Shit! Ho, ho, jump, run, puff, run, swing, jump, puff, 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 Kirby! <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I haven't actually figured out how many hits it takes to kill him. Probably like eight, it looks like. More like ten, maybe. Maybe a dozen, who knows? I am starting to think I want to just go get a gun, though. Because this is... It's tough to get in there and hit him without getting hit back because he's so fast. So, let's see, was it... I guess it was level 6 that had the UFO section? What do you see? say we go back there and see if we can come out of the level with the UFO power? I'm going to do that real quick and cut ahead. Fuck! I'm a kamikaze UFO, man. Alright, here's the good news. Uh, at the end of this level, there's a tomato down there. So if I just kill this guy by running into him, and then backtrack until the UFO gets interested in me, I can take him to the end of the level, probably. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting you can't eat those guys. Oh, okay, the enemies are reappearing. Come on, UFOs! Where are you at? Is the game making itself easier, or at least trying to? I'm so confused. Now I come back into the level, and there's no UFOs at all in here. What in the world? And the tomato's gone. Maybe I have to go into another level, and then come back. Like the game still thinks I, that I was just there, so I didn't respawn anything. That's strange. Here's a question. Will the fight start if I don't pick up the sword? Nope. Okay, so I have to use the sword. Alright, let's figure out how to do it. 
in a hit, run away. Probably a decent strategy. He runs faster than me. Whoa! Whoa. This is Bloodborne. I have, hit. <laughs> I have to watch my health and dodge constantly. Chip, chip. Yeah, there, Kirby. Oh, you ass. He scooted right under me. He just scooted right over there. Alright, let's try it with six hits. Oh, <laughs> that would look really cool if I had caught it. Alright, come on, do that ground pound move. I'll fuck you up afterwards. Right, well, I got him one hit. The first hit doesn't seem to lower his health bar, which is weird to me. He seems to have a shorter reach than me with his sword, which I think is what I'm supposed to use to win. Like, hit him from a range where he can't hit you back immediately. Whatever you do, don't touch him. Don't touch the Meta Knight. Does not like to be touched. It does seem like he can get two hits on him. Hits in on him most of the time. If he's, like, just landed or something. I got you now, motherfucker. Oh my god, he had an equal sign on his forehead. There's another sword here. I want this sword. Oh, whatever. I'll take the wand. Yay! And that's the story of how Kirby defeated Meta Knight. And of how I fixed my 3D printer. If you don't know how to solder, uh, and you're, you're, you're an adult, I would recommend... Uh, lurking into it. It's a useful skill to have. So, uh, I think that's a good finish. Let's go to the next episode!